Square Kicker Scrolling Effects is an advanced Square Kicker feature found in the Square Kicker block settings. Click on the block, then into Square Kicker Tools and head to Advance. You'll be presented with a Scrolling Effects timeline. This is the timeline in which your block will travel through for the animation to occur. The triangle represents your block and the circle represents when the block is in the center of the screen. This center point is in the center of the block you're on. When the block is at the start of the timeline, this means the block is below the bottom of the screen. As the block travels into view, I can see my block moving on the timeline. When it reaches the end, the original position of the block has completed scrolling through the vertical path of the screen. To apply a scrolling effect to this block, I have two options within this UI, the entry effect and the exit effect. The entry effect will be how my block is animated from the start of the screen till it gets to the center. My exit effect is how it will exit from the center to the end. So if I want to add an entry effect where it fades in slowly, click on opacity and enable it. Now I have the option for my block to start at a specific opacity as it enters into the screen. If I move my slider down to zero, that means at the start of my timeline, my block will be at zero opacity. But when it comes into the center, it will be at 100%. As you can see, when I scroll vertically up and down the screen, my block will slowly fade into view. I can change the starting position to say 30%. That means it will start at 30% opacity and make its way into 100% when it finishes scrolling to the center of the screen. I could do other animations as well. If I want it to rotate, I can click on rotate and I can choose to have a start 180 degrees at the start of the timeline. And when it gets to the center, it will be in its original position. For this design, I want my text block to not only fade in, but also scroll down the screen and scale into view. This way, I can combine multiple scrolling effects on the same timeline for my entry effect. So first, I'm gonna have my vertical motion enabled. As you can see, I want my block to start at minus 70%. It starts minus 70% above where the block should sit. And as I scroll down, once the block reaches the center of the screen, it will be in its original position at 0%. The next thing I want to do with my block is scale it down into view. So I head over to scale and switch on enable. Now my block is 150% of its original size. And as it reaches the center, it gets to 100% or its original size. I can also choose how my block leaves the screen by selecting an exit effect. Head down to Exit Effect and switch Enable on the animation you want to choose. And as the block gets from the center of the screen to the top, in this case, it moves 10% in a vertical motion. So now my button has a slight parallax scrolling effect as I scroll down the screen. There may be a time when scrolling effects moves a block in front or behind another block and you want to overwrite the Squarespace layer level. To customize the layer of a block, head to the layer tool in the advanced settings of a block and select send it back, bring to front, or you can select a custom layer level to organize multiple blocks in a specific order if required. Now that you understand the basics of square kicker scrolling effects for more complex designs, watch the next video on the custom timeline for scrolling effects.